Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video we're going to be looking at window trim um, and one of the issues that you may find is actually it starts lifting away from the actual rubber uh, seal um, so there's a natural gap between that and the trim you can even sort of get your finger through it so I'm just going to show you how to sort of uh, repair that without actually having to buy anything. Um, what you'll need is a hairdryer obviously not mine um, You'll need a little bit of silicon um, to place behind the trim just so in future it keeps it in place. Um, I'm using silicon instead of glue because it's a lot less messier. Um, with glue if you get um, a double sided adhesive you, you're going to have to mask it or be very careful that you don't spray it on something else um, by accident either the window or some of the other trim and again it can be a bit of a nightmare to get that off. The good thing with silicon is once it's sort of um, in place and, and you've heated up the actual uh, trim and, and, and it's sort of back to the shape it should be, it should go off and then hold that there um, going forwards. If for any reason that you gain you need to remove it or you replace it, again silicon is a lot easier to actually remove once, you're, once you've got access to it than glue. Um, sort of that should be a sort of last resort. And again, if you've glued it and you do want to replace it, again, you might come um, up with issues in the, in, in the future. So yeah, we'll go through the process of what it takes to actually get this back to where it needs to be. So as you can see, this is the issue I've got just in one of the corners um, of the front window. Everywhere else seems to be completely fine. Um, but yeah, this is the area that needs some attention this time around. So yeah, we'll go through what the process is. So the first step is just to apply uh, a little bit of silicon under, underneath. It doesn't matter what colour it is because obviously you're not going to see it. But what you don't want to do is absolutely cake it either. So you just want a few splodges just so once it goes into place and squeezes down it dries and just has that seal and again whenever you got a bit of silicon on the go just make sure you've got a bit of rag just to sort that out so uh, once we're, that's in place we can get the hairdryer and just get a little bit of heat on this and I've seen in some of the other videos before where they've actually got blow torch sort of um, industrial ones for these but again a simple hairdryer will do this um, you don't need to go mad you're not trying to melt the window or anything so yeah just a, a standard hairdryer on a, a high heat and you'll be surprised it won't take long to actually get this up to temperature for what you need um, so yeah, just sort of slowly heat up, not just the area that it needs to, but again above, because what you are going to need to do is slightly stretch this before you get this in place. So you want to see if you can give it a little bit of a, a stretch. Now you've warmed it up and again just apply some pressure down. You don't want to go mad with it because obviously you want it to look like it's flush with that. And then it should just be a case of working it where you want it. So that's got it roughly in place, but again, it still needs some work here to heat it up and just to find a, get it flat, because you can see it's starting to bulge already. So again, you just need to make sure you, you do it in sort of different st stages. <laughs>
So once you've actually got it in place of where you need it, obviously, you can then put it into place by pushing the, the silicon down and the rubber seal, then change the hairdryer to a cold setting, and then obviously this will lock it in place. So there you have it, um, it should be a case of letting that go off um, and then yeah, should be fixed. You may, like I say, you may need to heat it a couple of times, um, give it a bit of a stretch um, just to get the, the, the right length so it doesn't sort of pop out again. But like I say, it won't take long just to work it a few, after a few minutes. Once you get it into the right shape, like I say, put it on the cold setting and then just cool the plastic down so it keeps its shape and gives it time for the silicone to go off and, and for that to grab. And then, yeah, you should be good to go. So hopefully this week's maintenance tip um, will be useful and something that you can apply um, if you have that issue. Um, Again, you may be a case at the stage where you actually want to replace the whole trim, which is again straightforward enough to do. It's just about uh, undoing the screws where the latches are and pulling that out. Um, again, you can buy new strips of, of that to replace it, different colours. Um, you just need to make sure that the width is the same. Um, otherwise, like you say, you'll have issues because you certainly won't want to have to cut that down. Um, and there's other tools that you can use for. Um, peeling away the actual rubber seal so again you can then feed the trim in really easy because what you don't want to be doing is doing that on potentially every single window that you've got otherwise you'll be there forever um, so yeah i'll link those tools in, in the description below but uh, like i say hopefully uh, you found this beneficial um, if you did like i say please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up like i say because it really does help promote the channel okay thanks all i'll speak to you soon